every transfer window, we get excited about what big name player our club is going to sign. However, what we might not think about is the number of free agents out there that don't even have a club. There are hundreds of young players whose careers might come to an end before they've even started. And then you have established players whose careers might come to a premature end if they don't find a club. And one player who is in that position is a man called Rowan Gets it Vine. To Rowan Vine who finds space. He once signed for Birmingham for three million pounds. However, now he is out of contract and faces an uncertain future. Hi, Rowan. Nice to meet you. You too. But you are a footballing free agent. That's it. That's the term they use. Yeah, yeah. Free agent. Could you tell the audience what that means and? what that means for you. Yeah, I don't I think the agent part isn't really much of it. I don't yeah. know why they attach that to it. You're a footballer on a free transfer, or not attached to a club. So yeah, mm. no, it's just uh, it's become more and more common. Are you feeling the pressure now with um, Will? It's two weeks to go. Yeah, I think so. I think you, you always feel the pressure. You, you know, I, don't, I haven't played since the start, start of May. Um, mm. So I haven't played a game since then. So you missed out pre-season. Um, you've had to work on your own, do your own, try and do yeah. your own things, keep keep as fit as you can. I've never been in a position where the season started and I haven't had a club, so, so that's, that's new. You managed to get one? I hope so, yeah. I mean, the, the window's not really too much of a problem for a free agent because okay. the window for the clubs, they've got the next two weeks to sign a player from another club and then mm -hmm. there's a loan window and there's all, but the free agent can Whenever. maybe come into play after the, if they don't get their okay. targets, the free agent can, as long as he's training and keeping fit all through September, October, can, he can sign at any point. Sometimes August goes by slowly for the free agent and then September, if, you, if someone's in need, they will maybe come and yeah. get you. Training on your own, and I'm guessing with a squad in a club is, is a lot different. I yeah. mean, how do you motivate yourself? Yeah, it's massive, it's massive. It's the biggest thing for any footballer. The, any footballer will tell you, train on his own uh, or doing injury rehab, where you're basically on your own as well, is, is the hardest part of, of it. It's a, it's a team sport, but mm. then, it turns into an individual process of coming back from injury or being unattached. If you haven't played a proper game with professional players for six weeks, you're, you're always going to be yeah. playing catch-up. Could you tell us a bit more, you know, what position you play and um, what type of player you are? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a striker. Um, I've always been a striker, attack-minded attack player. I've played, you know, I've played over 400 games. I've played a good majority of them. I've played out wide, maybe left wing. Mm. When I was young, I was always a striker. Not necessarily a like a prolific goal scorer. I have been in fits and spurts, but I'm a, I'm always high on the assist l yeah. list. I'm not overly greedy. I, yeah. I play for the team and I, I, I like setting people up as well. I think, it's a, yeah. I think it's an art in itself. Tell me a bit about, about your, your career. Um, how did you get into football? You know, where did you start playing? I can't even remember. I was just, it's the first thing I remember doing was playing football. Mm. I went to Portsmouth when I was young, when I was like nine, 10. Um, left Portsmouth when I was probably 21, I think. Mm. So I stayed wow. there a long time. Didn't play a lot of games for Portsmouth, played a lot of games on loan. Done my sort of early apprenticeship going on loan to League One, played sort of 120 games in League One. Built up a bit of a reputation and ended up going to Luton, done well. And then when I moved on again to Birmingham. How was that? Because that's, that's the big move. I was playing well, riding the crest of a wave. The team was playing up, playing set up for for me to have a lot of a lot of joy in terms of creating goals and scoring. And I think I'd scored maybe 13, 14 goals by Christmas. Birmingham came in, they were top of the league, going from promotion. Um, and I think obviously I'd signed maybe over and just over a year before that for Luton for 250 grand. And then yeah, they sold me for three million. So it was good right. business for them as well. After your time in England, you, you went up to Scotland. I wanted a fresh challenge. Um, got a couple of offers from England, but it was just interesting. I went up to Scotland um, to speak to Steve Lomas, who was the manager of St Johnston, and I liked it up there for, for a couple of days and yeah, ended up signing. Finished third in the league and qualified for the Europa League, so it was a, you'd say it was a good season. We've talked about time in England, we've talked about time in Scotland, but now is the important bit. We're going to talk about the future. What kind of club would you want to be at? I'll go anywhere, like I say. I've been, I've been up to Scotland, I've been around the country in England. You know, my main priority was to come back to England and play because I, I love the English league. I love the Saturday, Tuesday feel of it, playing the games, mm. traveling up and down the country. I love all of that. I just want to get in somewhere and you know, put, my, put myself back on the map. Football's a business, football's a job. Yeah. And we are looking 
you know I mean, I'm unemployed, I'm looking for a job, and my job happens to be football. Yeah. And yeah, it's an unbelievable career, and you have a lot of highs and a lot of lows, and it's a roller coaster, but that is, that is it. My instinct at the moment is that I know I can play. I know I can play 40 games in England yeah. a season. So I've had one injury in my career, it was yeah. a bad injury, but I know that, you know, I've played 400 games, I know that I've got a good few left in me, so that's, right. that's, that's my outlook.